And listen up, bruh. The first patch is coming, man. The IQ God himself got asked by young LD2K to give him my gameplay feedback and he's going to send it over to the gameplay devs. I'm going to tell y'all in this video, the paragraphs I sent to LD, could, could the young swan save 2K? I suggested a lot of things. Now also, look, if y'all want something fixed with 2K, if y'all notice some type of gameplay feature that, that that's broken, you know, the, the little post scores, you know, stuff like that, ankle breakers not work, you know, things like that, mention it down in the comments. And then if, if, I, if, I, if I find it worthy, I will relay the message to young LD, my boy. But anywho, before we get into my extensive list, man, we got some goddamn confirmations, man. So, Shakedown, you know? Shout out to Young Shakedown. Shakedown tweets out. Wait, wait, hold, hold on, hold on. Be before we get that, make sure you subscribe if you new, my boy. It is free. 300K on the way. Subscribe to the realest nigga on YouTube doing this 2K shit. Make sure y'all hit up that like button if you can't wait for patch one, my boy. Hopefully it don't break the game. <laughs> Y'all let me know down in the comments if you think it's gonna break the game, bro. But look, so Shakedown says, uh, that look when you realize Playmaker is useless because NBA 2K21 shipped without ankle breaker and no one in NBA 2K noticed, right? Don't, don't y'all find that crazy, obscene? That in a, in a video game where we play at a park that there's no ankle breakers that you got to have on all three ankle breaker badges and playmaking takeover to only get ankle breaker and snatchbacks don't y'all find that kind of weird that screen stun you more than someone dribbling and crossing you over when you're on an island every other takeover bro Sharp takeover, work, you can shoot beyond half court. That's the most deadly takeover. Motherfucker. God damn it, I'm recording. Listen, listen, listen. So look, it's like, it's like this, bro. It's like this. Sharp takeover, the most deadly takeover. You can fade from anywhere. You can shoot beyond half court. It makes you a shooting god, okay? Why does this takeover get to work every year, but playmaking, you can only break ankles off of one one move. I don't even know how it is this year. I ain't seen I I've, I haven't seen one ankle breaker from no one. No one posted it on Twitter. How? Slasher takeover. You get contact dunks. That happens more than what what, what happens with playmaker shot creator takeover. Fade like a god. You can get space creators. Lock take. No one can no one can do anything to you. Glass take. You fly. Rim take. You know. Playmaking is like the, the most useless, bro. It's crazy, right? Like basketball is built off of, like the reason it got its attraction is because of this ISO one-on-one -on -one ankle breaker play. All I'm saying is, I know it's RNG, but so are screens. So is Brick Wall Hall of Fame. And it's way worse, right? It, it's way worse than the ankle breaker. I promise you, bro. But I, 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 all I'm saying is, like, it's like, it's come on, come on, bro. I know people don't like getting humiliated and stuff like that, and it makes a lot of hate, but, you know, w when you get screamed, you know, you, you just get screamed. But when you get your ankles broke, mm. But anywho, man, LD said, ankle breakers will be addressed in the next patch, I'm told. Now, that basically means they're getting buffed, right? Because... There are no ankle breakers. Godly says, yo, Mike, can we take park handles out the game? No one uses that shit. Or at least make the quick stop button different than the park handles button. Shit makes no sense. I'm trying to shoot the ball, my nigga. Bust out a 360 behind the legs, rolling on the ground and shit. We'll be patched soon. So, you know, that, that means that um we're going to have an option to take off park handles. And lastly, we got before I give y'all my list, bro. Young Craig, I've seen a lot of tweets go out, right? A lot of tweets, look, already sent it over. So, uh, a lot of, wait, wait, there's another tweet. I, I have to find it. So, <laughs> I've seen a lot of tweets of niggas going crazy at the stage with glitches and stuff. Excuse the quality. Look, look at this, this speed boost, right? I'm not too much opposed to it. I haven't got to, 
you don't play it, but hey, man, I, I'm all about the speed boost. And the faster the gameplay, the more, uh, the more, uh, you know, the bigger skill gap it is. I don't know how OP this is. Uh, I'm gonna have to test it myself. I already do it, but like I haven't versed it as a lockdown. So I'm gonna definitely, um, I'm gonna definitely go to the stage and lock this little nigga wins up. But um, yeah, y'all let me know if y'all think this should be taken out the game. Y'all think this is crazy? Yo, nigga. Look, look, look. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Now, a lot of people been complaining about fades. This crip walking nigga, I don't know who this is. If this is Eager Eye, right? This nigga is trash. I used to drop this nigga off in 17 and 16 and run with him all the time, bro. But um, yeah, let let's let, let hold on. Oh shit. Let's let, let let's see. So fading is OP, right? Just like the beginning of 2K20. Hold on. Look at this nigga. Look at this nigga. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. 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 Green. That's ass. You know he had to have low stamina. That 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 had to be no stamina. So people are complaining about fades. Ooh, he's even jumping. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you know that that's you know, but he he out of stamina. I don't know, bruh. There's another clip. I don't know where it is. So these are comp players, right? So look, <laughs> look at this nigga. <laughs> why is it? Why they look at this? Hold on. Look at this. <laughs> look, look, look. Bro, you shouldn't be able to fade like this. This shit broke. Come on, my nigga. This shit broke, right? Look at this nigga. Like from half court though. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, y'all let me know if y'all think this should be in the game or if it shouldn't. That shit is hilarious. <laughs> oh, shit. But anywho, so for this goddamn list that I sent to him, man. So I said first. So first, after a dribble move, any dribble move, if you don't do a quick stop, exploit, you fade every time. Right? Right? Um, Mike says, uh, I believe he said that in an annoying stream that he would fix that. Hopefully he does in patch one. Y'all let me know if y'all believe it should be fixed. And I say that is the most annoying thing in NBA 2K21 by far. Then I say, I should be able to do a dribble move and shoot instantly without fading. The whole community hates it. It doesn't add a skill gap. It adds more of a frustration, extra focus that isn't needed and could slow down the game. Now, I know y'all love casuals. Casuals hate it too. Most casuals will struggle with quick stopping, so if I was you guys, I would fix it immediately. Casuals would never adapt to quick stopping, I promise. The next thing is stamina. Most major issue, it has to be increased by at least 100%. The community would love it and it would help gameplay play much faster. The skill gap will increase, etc and casuals will be happy because they don't know how to dribble without using stamina. And that's 99.9999999999% of the community. Most fun 2Ks were unlimited stamina. I know it'll never go to that, but it shouldn't be this bad. This could be the worst year for stamina, not gonna lie. I shouldn't have to buy Gatorade to be able to dribble. It costs so much. At least cut the get three Gatorades VC price by 75%. The community would absolutely love it and it'll make people buy it because it's so cheap now to make their player better so you guys might not even lose money. You see that? Look, I'm a genius, right? Like, I'm such a genius that I'm giving them a way to make more money, but at the same time, I'm helping you niggas, right? Because y'all know when people sell stuff for less and cheaper, that, that's how PlayStation overcame xbox right back in the day right so so i'm saying my idea is y'all let me know if y'all y'all think this is brilliant you cut the gatorade by 75 percent right it'll it'll spread across the community everyone will make youtube videos it'll everyone will tell their friends oh we'll get that gatorade because you know what gatorade you play better defense you're gonna have more stamina you're gonna be able to dribble more so it's gonna make your player play better so 
like most of the people that don't buy Gatorade, there's a lot of people who don't even buy it, only tryhards buy it. They'll start buying Gatorade because it's a lot cheaper than what it used to be. This is why people do discount codes, discounts, because it makes people feel like they're not being cheated, right? It makes people feel like they're catching a deal. That, oh, it used to be like this, now it's like this, even though this shit shouldn't exist and it's a fuck, it's, it's way too much. You know, psychology, man. Marketing, business, one-on-one, my nigga. Educate yourself. But yeah, so y'all let me know if y'all think that's a great proposition. Anywho, I said, I know a lot of people only buy one or none because it costs so much. Sometimes cheaper is better. And then I say, nerf shooting again. I know there was a secret buff. I can tell and see. It's not just because people got their badges and hotspots. It has to be nerfed. It made so many creators happy. Such a skill gap. Even Soluminati started playing the game. Then I say, it's annoying when everyone is just a goat. No skill gap means nothing to grind for. Just once y'all nerf it, just make sure it's insanely easy to get badges and buff badge progression times two. So people could grind players without being annoyed. We just want to have fun, not get annoyed by some toxic AI. Leave the AI like that for high difficulties. Nerf my career AI for lower difficulties. Nerf shooting in multiplayer is a must, but make it easier for my career. I say nerf screens, buff pick dodger, decrease fading scoring ability. Fading takes the skill out the game and it is abused. That's all I really noticed for now and all I can think of and several other things. Oh, and then, and then I said, oh, and there's no ankle breakers this year. Buff ankle breakers. I told him about Heart Crusher, the Showtime method, and all that. That was my list of LD. Y'all rate the list down below in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all feel um, should get adjusted. And um, yeah, I also mentioned sliding on defense. I think that's about it, my boy. Anywho, that's the end of the video, man. Y'all let me know if y'all excited for patch one. Make sure y'all subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Help a young nigga get recommended. Gotta like the video. Turn on post notice. I got a lot more stuff coming with y'all. Y'all be sure to check out my uh all my build videos, bro. I got the best build videos on 2K YouTube. My nigga, I am helping y'all become gods. Check out my dribble tutorial if you want to be a comp player, my boy. And yeah, man, go, 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 go check that shit out. I'm out this hoe though. Adios. Sub to my second channel too. For uh, raids, Todgers and shit.